It's Thursday evening, May 7th, everyone. As you can see, I'm outside here of the Daily Mass Chapel. And I just wanted all of you to see uh, how much progress we're making over here. You can see the new brickwork is right here. The yellow part will be covered over with brick very soon. Uh, that yellow stuff is actually an insulation over the block work. Uh, but I'm very excited and you can see the roof brand new shingle roof, which we matched exactly with brand new um, roofing for the church as well. And this part over here, we're gonna get that redone a little bit later as well so that it all matches. But I'm very excited to show you this visual update on the Daily Mass Chapel. And I also just wanted to take this moment to wish all of the mothers in our parish a very happy Mother's Day. I know not everyone has their mother still alive, which I am blessed to have her still alive. Um, uh, not everyone is. So it'll be a weekend in which we remember all mothers living and deceased and how much love they shared and uh, with each one of us. And I'm really excited. Father Vincent will be the homilist this weekend. And as you know, he always gives a really wonderful, thoughtful homily. So um, please join us as you always do for what we're calling now Mass on the Couch. And I thought as well, you remember a few months ago, I don't know how long ago it was, but I mentioned the idea of all of us trying to reach out to marginal Catholics, those who were baptized and maybe for whatever reason have stopped going to church. And I thought this time of the coronavirus, probably a good time maybe to reach out to them and share with them the link from our website and say, hey, listen, you know, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to your kids' sports games, you're not going out to do anything, why don't you just tune into Mass, hear Father Vincent's uh, wonderful homily this weekend, and maybe when the whole coronavirus is uh, over, maybe they'll come back to church really uh, with you and uh, join us there. And then one last thing I wanted to share, as you know, I've been leading the um, Angelus prayer every uh, day at 12 o'clock, well, every day except Sunday. And I really, really enjoyed it. And now I've had a few parishioners who have sent emails to me asking if I would address a particular topic. So normally what we do, if you haven't tuned in, it's live streamed every day, Monday through Saturday at 12 uh, noon. I start, I take the first two or three minutes to say these standard prayers, these prayers of praying for protection, uh, the Blessed Mother, uh, prayers of the Regina Chaley, then the Guardian Angel prayer. It's really very beautiful, very short. You can pray along with me. The prayer is always there. And then I take five or six minutes, or if I wax eloquent, which I sometimes, it's another word for saying I ramble on, <laughs> but sometimes I ramble on a little bit longer, maybe seven minutes or so. And I take on the topic. Like today I spoke about the heavenly host and the host that we receive at communion and how those two words are two totally different things. But I've explained stories about blessed Edmund Ignatius Rice, spoken about the gifts that the Dominicans have given, the Franciscans have given. Uh, and every day I tackle a little topic. It's just a five minute brief catechesis. So if there's anything you've ever wanted um, to ask a priest and wanted to get an answer from, uh, just send me an email, fatherstephen at stelizabeths.org, and I'll be happy to address it in one of my upcoming Angelus addresses. So uh, from here, outside of the new construction, uh, again, I wish you all a very happy Mother's Day, and I look forward to seeing you uh, hopefully sooner rather than later in person. So God bless everyone. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll post another video on Monday. Bye-bye.